Hello, hello everybody, Tashina Gonzalez here, and I'm only going live on Instagram. I'm going to upload this to YouTube mm -hmm. afterwards. I'm super, super excited. So I was chatting with my team yesterday, and I was remembering one of my track stories and remembering that I have not done a motivational live in a while. So I thought, let me give the extended version of this. And I was thinking of a quote and it goes like this. It doesn't matter how many times you fail, you only have to be right once. And then everyone can tell you that you are an overnight success. And that's by Mark Cuban. And then Drew Houston, he's also said, don't worry about failure, you only have to be right once. And so my team has some really big goals for this month and the next three months. And some people have been having momentum and doing good and some people have not. But I thought about one of the times where I was in track and I put that in practice. So I ran track. If you guys, hopefully you've seen some of my videos on my motivational channel, not nah, hop on YouTube and make sure that you see some of those. But for those of you that are not familiar with track, um, I actually ran the four by one relay. And the way that track meets work is a lot of times you'll have an invitational. No. And at the invitationals, you will have like between 20 and 40 teams and you get points from one to eight, but you only get medals up to three. And so we kept going to invitationals. It was my first year in track in 10th grade. We kept going to invitationals and we just kept getting points, but not quite getting a medal. So my four by one relay was up no. at what was called the Olivet Invitational. Hello. And um, I just knew that day I was going to get a medal. I was just, I was like, I could feel it in my bones. And it was a crazy day. Um, we got lost. My dad was, I was at my dad's house in Metro Detroit. Olivet is way on the other side of the state. And we were running late. Like my alternate was like suited up and ready to go. And she was like super scared. And so I got there, like quickly took my greens off, my, uh, my, uh, like running sweats it was like ready to go I was pumping everybody up and I was like today today guys is the day that we are going to get this medal I just feel it I just feel it I just feel it and it was crazy because there was nothing that on the books said that we should have got a medal that day but so like there was I think in this meet there were like 28 teams right or maybe 30 teams so three heats, three times. And the first heat that goes is the slowest heat. And so they rank you. And we were like ranked 28 out of 30. Like there was nothing that was on the books said that we were supposed to get a medal, nothing. But I knew if we could hit all the marks, I knew if we could get all our handoffs. I knew if I could fly out of them blocks, I knew if our last leg could go as fast as we can, that we could be a medal winner that day. And so that's how the quote connects. Like you only have to be right once to get that win. You only have to fire on all cylinders like once to get that win. So we got onto the track and that heat, we killed it. I mean, we blew everybody away. We had what looked like a perfect race. So then, of course, there were three more heats and or two more heats that needed to go. So the second heat goes, and you know, and my track coach is timing. He timed us. He times that he was like, "Yeah, y'all were way faster. You blew all of them out of that second heat as well." And then the last heat, the fastest heat goes, the heat where like pretty much all of those people on that track should have got points and had the fastest team on there. They go, and my. My track coach is timing them and he gets at the end. He's like, I don't know. He's like, it's going to be really close. I really don't know. I don't know. So I, they're announcing all of them and they announce eighth place. And I just knew like if they didn't announce us between eight to four, that we would have been in third place. And that's all I wanted. I just finally wanted a medal, right? And they announced eighth and it wasn't us and they announced seventh and it wasn't us and they announced sixth and it wasn't us and they announced fifth and it wasn't us and they announced fourth and it wasn't us. And I just started jumping up and down. I was like, we got third, we got third, we got third, we got third. And I was so happy jumping up and down, wasn't even listening. And my dad like shakes me and he's like, you guys didn't get third, you got first. And I could not have been so happier and so that's what I want for you guys right now. Like if you are in some type of space where you're trying to do something, 
you're trying to achieve some goals, maybe, maybe you haven't been firing on all cylinders. And maybe you haven't been putting it together the way that you need to. Don't worry about what the past said. Don't worry about what the books are stating or don't worry about what the stats supposedly are saying. Just make the decision to do all the right things. Make the decision to fire on all cylinders. Make the decision to keep going even if you have a failure because that's the on, on the way to success because it doesn't matter how many times you fail. You only have to be right once. And then everyone can tell you that you are overnight success. That's what happened to us. That's what happened. Like people were like, where did these girls come from, right? And that meat, that all of that, that became like a thing. Like there were times after that we didn't fire on all cylinders. But when I needed to motivate my team, when I needed for us to get, I would be like, y'all, don't matter what the book says. Today, we're going to pull an Olivet. That's what we're going to do. And that took me to be a state champion later that year. So that's the motivational stuff I want to leave you guys with today. As usual, I always thank you guys for joining me. Have an amazing evening. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just my name, Tashina Gonzalez. Feel free also in the comments to let me know where you are watching from, whatever city and state you're watching from, and hashtag replay if you're watching the replay, no matter what venue here on Instagram or later on YouTube. Thank you guys. Have an amazing day. Bye.